Nightmare Alley, the psychological thriller from macabre maestro Guillermo del Toro. With a Dreamcast, this is not the first time the story of Stanton Carlyle has been recounted, and it is now available in UK cinemas. Del Toro's adaption is the second film adaptation of the same named 1946 novel. Initially, Leonardo DiCaprio was committed to the picture, but he was replaced with Bradley Cooper, Kate Blanchett, Tony Collette, Willem Dafoe, Richard Jenkins, Rooney Mara, Ron Perlman, Mary Steenburgen, and David Stratian were among the cast members. You'll have to keep find out who they are and what they've been up to. There are Nightmare Alley spoilers ahead. The film opens with a sight of a man burning down a house with a body inside. Then he stumbles across a carnival, where he is taken in by ringleader Clem, who is enthralling the crowd with the geek, a man who pursues and eats live chickens. Stanton quickly befriends the carnival's mentalism act, married couple Zena and Pete, who teach him the skill of cold reading and the coded language they employ in their performance, emphasizing that they never DOS book shows. He also develops affections for Molly, a girl who electrocutes herself on stage. Stanton works for Zena as an MC, hustler, but he dreams of running away with Molly and starting his own show. He accidentally gives Pete a bottle of wood alcohol instead of moonshine one day when fetching moonshine for him and murders him. Later, the cops raid the carnival, but Stanton saves them by sweet-talking the sheriff. He and Molly leave, and they begin a new life as their own mentalist duo, with a less hostility to the supernatural than their predecessor. Stanton is challenged by a woman in the crowd to guess the contents of her handbag, which he does successfully but then humiliates her in front of the audience. After the concert, he gives a private session to the woman, Dr. Lilith Ritter, and Judge Kimball, the latter of whom requested Lilith's advice before enlisting Stanton's help in locating his son, who died in no man's land during WWI. Stanton takes the offer and Lilith's business card, much to Molly's amazement. He pays a visit to Lilith, who secretly tapes her first meeting with Stanton. She is intrigued by him despite knowing he is a con artist, and the two intend to extort Kimball using her insider knowledge from treating Kimball's wife. While committing their scam, they begin an affair, and in the process, Stanton expresses his sorrow for inadvertently killing Pete and purposefully killing his father, who was an alcoholic and abused him. Kimball, persuaded of Stanton's ability, introduces him to Ezra Grindel, whom Lilith warns Stanton is dangerous, but Stanton proceeds to pull the same scam on Grindel. Stanton exploits Lilith's grudging admission that Grindel's lover Dory died after he forced her to have an abortion to ingratiate himself with Grindel. Stanton, who was a staunch Tito Taylor before, began to drink. Meanwhile, Molly, who is displeased with Stanton's conduct, chooses to leave him. Grindel presses Stanton to do more and more, finally asking him to materialize Dory, a feat that will require Molly's assistance which she initially agrees to but abandons on the day of the plan. Stanton, on the other hand, locates her and persuades her to assist, which she does, saying she would leave him once the convention is finished. Grindel discloses that he abuses women on the night of the so-called summoning, and Stanton begins to lose control of the situation. Grindel notices Molly, Dory from distance and runs over to her. Upon finding she is a fake, he beats her, and Stanton intervenes, killing Grindel. He runs over Grindel's right-hand man and departs with Molly in the automobile. Molly has abandoned him for good, so he seeks aid from Lilith, only for her to disclose that she has been duping him all along, secretly recording their sessions to prove he's a lunatic smitten with her as retaliation for his humiliation of her. She shoots him in the ear, and the cops come just as he strangles her. Stanton is on the run once more, intoxicated, homeless, and on the run from the cops, he stumbles into a new carnival and discovers a curio once held by his former boss Clem. He applies for a position as a mentalist, but the supervisor turns him down. He gives Stanton a drink and then offers him a temporary employment as a carnival geek, the man who hunts chickens and then eats them in front of an audience, out of pity or possibly a sense of opportunity. Stanton laughs bitterly when asked if he thinks he can accomplish it and responds, Mister, I was born for it. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.